In this demo, we're going to walk through how to use the Visual Studio extension that exists inside of uh, our marketplace that allows you to work with uh, some of the block blockchain components behind the scenes, and specifically with a Strato and the block product. Um, essentially what this does is allows developers to very quickly be able to start building smart contracts and actually start building uh, dApps on top of a blockchain. Uh, without having to mess around with a lot of the infrastructure involved in getting that stuff started. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, get started here. I'll show you how this works. So the first thing we need to do is have a Strato instance running. Um, and I talked through this in another video, but I'll show you really quickly how to do that. You just click on the new button up here at the top left in the Azure portal. You type in Strato. Click on the Strato instance up here. Again, description lots of documentation on how to use it and you essentially click on the create button down here in the lower left corner. Fill out the parameters about the size of virtual machine, the usernames you want to use to log into it with and whatnot. A couple minutes later you have your Strato instance running. Um, now in order to use the Visual Studio extension we actually need to have block running so we'll need to actually start a, a local web server here that's going to run block uh, itself and we'll talk to that blockchain. So in order to do that, I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code and show you that when you spin up your block instance, you'll want to make sure that you put your uh, correct Strato endpoint in here. And you can see mine's set correctly now. It's set to my Strato endpoint that's running in Azure. That's the only configuration I need to do. I don't even need to create any users. I could just have a bare bones one, and I can just say block start. After a few seconds, we'll see uh, the Express server start up here, and it'll be listening on port 8000, and it'll actually be pointing to our endpoint, and you can see which endpoint it's pointing to, and so there we are, we're listening on port 8000, so everything's great. Now we'll open up Visual Studio, and um, this requires an extension, um, so essentially I'll show you real quick on the web. If you just come out to uh, this URL, so it's marketplace.visualstudio.com, uh, you click on Visual Studio and then you just type the word Solidity, which is the language uh, used to write smart contract. You can see that we have the extension here, and you can just hit download and install it directly from here. Um, there's uh, lots of you know notes up here about what what's being built there. Um, a link to my blog here, um, which actually details uh, how this actually works too. So if you have trouble getting getting running with this, you can go look at that blog. It has some really good uh, tutorials on how to go through this. Um, but essentially, once we have that installed, when we come back into Visual Studio, um, you can always check it under the Tools menu here. Um, so under Tools, and then Extensions and Updates right here. So if we click on that guy, and then type in the word Solidity in the top left here, you'll see that we have it installed. This is where we get uninstall it or, or upgrade it or whatnot. It'll automatically upgrade as, as new things come out. And so we just click on New Project now and you'll see that we have an actual new category in here. So we have Solidity in here. It's a first class language. We have a couple templates in here. Um, we're just going to build a smart contract here to begin with. So we'll click on that. And once we click on that, uh, we, it scaffolds out an application for us here. Now there's some samples that are out here. There's a source folder for you to drop your own in. And basically from here, we can right click and I want to show you this. Uh, we actually have added some integration to do the compilation and deployment directly from inside Visual Studio. So this is really cool um, because it, we don't have to leave the IDE. We don't have to go do anything. And if we take a look at what's inside of here, we have, we'll take our simple storage you know, we have text highlighting, we have, so if there's multiple, uh, so you could track if you misspelled something. Um, we can actually do the compilation from inside of here. We have like autocomplete and everything for the different keywords that's inside the Solidity language to help you kind of build these things out. Now, once we have everything done, we can actually compile this thing. So we'll click on compile and we've integrated it into the output window here. I'll zoom in on that. You can see the compilation of the smart contracts completed. It dropped the binaries out in the bin folder. Um, but actually, if we're just getting started, we don't even care about the bin files. We just want to deploy this thing. So if we hit deploy smart contract, we'll actually see this go out to a blockchain. So after a few seconds, what we'll see is a browser window pop up here. And this is going to that local instance I had running. You see we're using test user 
and the password. I'll show you where the password is here in a second. Uh, there's the address where it lives on the blockchain and we actually have a cool interface here with block that allows us to basically uh, execute the smart contract and see how it functions. So we could set a value here and you can see down here at the bottom when I set that the stored data actually changed to one. And then if I do a get on it you'll see our transaction result actually return to one. So it's showing that we're actually executing the smart contract and this is all dynamic so if you create your own method names they'll show up here uh, with whatever parameters you can move ether around you can test all this kind of stuff out. Now back to Visual Studio uh, where is this configured if you right click on the decentralized app or whatever the name of your app is you'll see in here we've added some properties uh, so there's a blockchain password, blockchain service URL, blockchain user. So what happens is when this thing, when you hit right click and deploy, there was no users in our block instance. So it went and checked to say, is there a test user out there? If there's not, go ahead and create one with a password of testing. Now you could obviously change these to something else that you want to use. You can see we're pointing at localhost 8000, which is where our block instance was running. Um, this guy, and you can see over here, we still have the debug output from block showing us everything that's happening as we're doing this. So from a developer sense, we have all the tools we need to build a, a smart contract, actually get it up there and get it running, and actually start testing it. And then we can come along later, and we'll show this in some other demos, that you can actually um, you know, start building dApps on top of this that will interact with these. So I hope that this is helpful to get started with building smart contracts using Visual Studio.